welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be answering aramide's question about my application process to tlm and the process she can take as well i don't think the process has changed but in the time that i applied in 2022 this was the process at the time first off i would like to give a backstory about the schools that i applied to and i applied to about i started my application in 2021 and i got an admission i applied to three schools in 2021 for the summer semester of 2022 and then when i applied i got i got admission into just one so the school i was already like you know trying to get my documents ready for my visa but if anybody knows anything about germany is the visa process and just getting appointment dates can be so nerve-wracking nerve-wracking can be so like stressful because they have this thing called the category a and category b and category a are for people that finish with the first class within you know two years of the time you graduated so currently category a are for those that are in that finish with the first class between maybe 2022 and 2023 and at the time i finished it a 2-1 so to get category a but the truth is that I didn't actually realize that I didn't qualify at the time because it, it used to be two um two one and first class, so like they used to accept like I think everybody, but they eventually changed it. So category B are for those that finished with a two one after as in before those years. So and the p time wait the wait period can be between is over a year between like within a year or over a year why category a is for those it takes them like two months and most times that two months means like a week because you can get a date in like a week so they're just saying two months as in bad as you bad so i wasn't able to get my my visa at the time to start up school in 2022 so i had to forfeit that admission and move over to applying to more schools for the winter semester of 2022 so i applied to about five schools and unfortunately i didn't actually get admission into either of them only tum and tum was actually my last choice like you know when you're getting feedback from all the schools saying oh sorry we cannot unfortunately we are sorry and this school comes and i'm like god this is my last hope <laughs> and this school comes and you know they sent me my admission letter and they're asking me to accept the study place i'm like it's so crazy because like it's so amazing how god works because all the other schools that were giving me like a rejection i was feeling really sad like don't i like am i not qualified <laughs> you know but you know i was there feeling bad about myself and the truth is um it just it, it was a really humbling experience so getting the admission from tum at the end of the day was actually very amazing and the feeling was actually a lot because ah, it was just it was just too good i think that's a story that i'll probably have to tell and ah uh, yeah so let's just get right into the video for our day and any other person that wants to apply to tum for the 2023-2024 semester the first thing i will tell you to do is go and look at tum's um courses for if you're doing a master's or a bachelor's i don't really know much about the bachelor's process but i think it's a lot longer but if you're doing like a master's program just go and look at the courses that you're offering and see the ones that you're interested in one thing with TUM is that you don't need to pay an application fee, but you still need to pay money because they need a document called the VPD. It's a document that is given to you by T uh, by UniAssist, which has UniAssist is like an educational body that evaluates your grade from your home country to the German. It converts it to the German grade to know if you're qualified enough to take up, um, you know, schooling in Germany. Like if you're within the score bracket, so. Because I had actually applied since 2022, when you're sending your documents to UniAssist, when you set up an account, you are to upload some documents like your transcripts, your bachelor certificates, your passport, motivation letter, and maybe English proficiency letter like IELTS, or maybe a reference from your school stating that all your courses and exams were taken in English. Though you've uploaded those documents, you still need to send the hard copies, certified hard copies to um uni assist and their office is in berlin so you have to send it to them in berlin for them to look at it and actually now you know do the whole conversion and the evaluation like what you do so um because i had already applied since 2022 and the good thing about it is that once you send those documents once i don't think you need to send it again and every time subsequently that you make an application to them 
it's like um they reply you faster the initial time when you're applying to them it's like takes it they'll tell you 68 weeks so you like, actually take within that 68 weeks so if you're making applications within that period i would say that you should try as much as possible to start applying before you actually meet the admission so within your assist you have to send certified copies which is your original documents you actually photocopy them get a notary public and get a, st a seal of the notary public stating that this is the one true copy you know of your document and then once you've gotten that you can send it for me i use night post in abuja and it took about two weeks to get to them in germany so yeah i sent it to them and i got um you know this responded to me that you know they had received my documents and they're starting the evaluation so i let them do their thing right so with the tum process you need a vpd so I, because i had applied and submitted my documents to uni assist before the 2022 winter semester that i really needed the admission they already had my documents so when i saw that tum needed a vpd i went there and applied for a vpd i paid the application fee for a vpd which was 75 euros and it's I didn't have to wait for six to eight weeks for my document to come. It probably came in like two, three weeks. Yeah. So these are like the things. So I would just advise anybody that's trying to go to, in fact, not just Germany, any application process. I always, I would advise that you start um, like a year before. You know, I, I think the UK is a lot faster, but if you're, you know, going to a school or a country where, you know, their, their immigration process or the application process is long, like maybe Canada or Germany, I would advise you to start a year before just start so before you actually really need it it's already like things are already gearing up for you another thing i would say is that this is more like an advice this is not the second point so the, an advice is that you should also if you know you're going to germany and you know that you don't fall within the category a you know brackets try and book your visa appointment dates just go and put in that you know you're in category b so that your dates can start counting and who knows they might just send you a date even before the year is over second thing i'll tell you to do for your application after looking through the um admission the courses that you want to the potential courses that you want to um, apply to look at the requirements the requirements let you know if you are you know qualified to take up that course because maybe they could be asking for a certain grade or certain um knowledge in certain fields so you look towards that and then if you see that okay this is good enough for you you prepare your documents so cmtum as well also has their, appli their application portal where you could put them um, put in all your documents that they could request from you such as your motivation letter your your transcript your bachelor certificate your english proficiency if you have one or maybe a reference letter like i said from your school and this is the catch with tum there's they have this essay um this essay that you have to write depending on the course you're writing i don't know about other courses but for me i applied to two courses in uh, tom that was the sts and pool politics and technology and i didn't get into sts um i wrote an essay but me i knew that my essay was not even up to par like that so but with the politics and technology coming from international relations background and i also with some help from friends who were able to help me proofread my work i was able to you know scale through and get the admission so you have to write an essay and i think this is another stressful part because uh but yeah you might have to write an essay you will have to write an essay so just you know have that in mind so once you've done and gotten all these documents most times the application period currently the application the application period is ongoing and i think the deadline is on the 30th of june so you should like you know gather all your documents and that's the beautiful thing about starting on time because once you start on time you're able to have all these documents ready so once the application portal opens you just keep you know uploading your stuff and by the time the application window closes you're not even worried about anything so after um you know preparing your documents by this time you must have paid for your vpd to um uni assist so that they could get your document ready because the vpd is part of the documents that you have to upload from um on the tum portal and it lasts for it's valid for one year and because it's valid for one year you know god forbid you don't get um you know the admission you can always use it for other schools and yeah so 
after you know uploading all your documents you wait for a decision and most times for me i got my decision in august yeah i got my decision on august 22nd <laughs> 2022 and then my visa actually now came out miraculously during that period as well and um, because i already applied started application for visa and everything my process as my admission came out my visa came out and you know i started preparing to come to germany so i hope this video is very helpful for you that you know wants to come to germany to study and i think it's kind of applicable to other schools just go through the school portal check out the requirements check out if you qualify prepare your documents um take note of the deadlines and apply to the schools whenever the portal opens wait for your decision pray hold jesus by his shit <laughs> and i'm sure you're gonna get you know a good response from them i hope this video, video was helpful to you aramide and others that may be looking to come to tum or germany in general and i yeah i hope it really helps you out so thank you so much for watching this video and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye